of the things I was the most people, it's been very uncomfortable coming to Parliament because you get asked things and you haven't got answers for, you aren't prepared for the questions and you haven't got prepared answers. So how proud you must be of your daughter for being in Parliament and I'm going, I haven't got a response to pride. I don't have a response and then after about four days I'm going, oh I need a response because it's not going away. <laughs> and then I realised... She must be proud. <laughs> yeah, and then I, and it, and it, it was like a conversation stopper rather than a starter because I couldn't respond to the pride. And then after about four days I said to Willow, well, I couldn't think what I was proud of. And I go, but now I know what I'm proud of. What I was proud of is that you stood up and sung in Māori. Yeah. I was so proud that I had a child that came from me who didn't, it, I didn't even know that she could access Māori until yeah. she was 15 and then was able to stand up in the, ha in the biggest house in the country and sing yeah. in that song in, a, in a, such a um, pertinent waiata but also a celebration that she could actually do it and I said I'm proud of that, that's what I'm proud of, that was the proudest thing I could ever and I didn't realise that I was because it was such a I can, it just resonated from, from when she first started at 15 to access um, Māori, which is all of ours a, a right to have that ability to access it. Um, I can remember within my own family, one or two coming up and challenging me, go, well, what use is that going to be? Like, really, what use? And then I go, well, look how useful it is, because <laughs> now she's in Parliament, speaking it and singing it in this country that, that represents yeah, this house that represents us. Well, so I'm one of these. I've made mine clatter a bit less today. <laughs> I've realised I don't have to wear all of it. Because thing. mine gets me to some places where uh, yeah, currently I, mum can't get, but we're yeah. making it more family friendly. And yeah. I was yeah. like, she needs yeah. to be wherever I you know, am. And yeah. So talking with Trevor Meller, the Speaker of the House, who um, makes the rules, um, has given mum access to areas where people haven't, the public haven't had access before because it's Henny and, and Nandy, you know, travelling with her to wherever I might be. So that's um, into the house, down to the caucus rooms, uh, you know, all the tunnels that get you to everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> They've been really good, right from the, the get-go. The laundry. The <laughs> laundry. And suddenly this little magic car just about takes you anywhere except for where Jacinda is. Which is great. I can get to the swimming pool, I haven't been there yet. Um, so a huge amount of willingness. Yeah, huge amount of willingness to support it. So for us, we've given ourselves the challenge because we've got this opportunity um, to change this, um, you know, to do that. So we're like, okay, well, it's, you know, getting my getting the baby in the house in the first instance because, you know, she was a stranger uh, prior to that and, and couldn't be in there. But before I even came, they changed the rules for that. So it wasn't just for us. That was the direction they were moving in. We were just the first ones to walk through the door after that change had been made. Um, but then getting my mum access there because actually handing baby over to some, you know, runner who... We <laughs> call them the storks, they deliver they, the baby. Yeah, they're the storks of parliament <laughs> that bring the baby in. But we also, um, you know, just try and be really open and share with everybody what it looks like in the background, what it actually takes. Um, because I tried to dispel this myth of being a superwoman or a super mum. Um, parenting is, is challenging, um, what, whichever form you're doing it in. And um, for me to be able to do this, work I've got my mum you know here and I've got my husband at home holding it down with our two and a half year old um, up there uh, so I'm like you know I'm so grateful that I can have a family and do this role representing our um, communities here um, but it's taking a whole village to be able to pull that off um, and we need to support all of our families um, because I think that's where a lot of the stress and the pressures um, at home uh, come from it's a it's a tough job and then you add on top of that poverty or financial pressures and those you know stresses um, and we've got issues so we're putting people back at the center of everything that we do but not just any people we're putting babies back at the center of everything that we're doing um, and how appropriate yeah